Stopping fraud and protecting revenue is often a team sport. So let's dive into how you can add and manage team members into Seon. It's super easy to invite new members to your company's Seon account. Open the team page of the admin panel. There is a big plus sign at the top of the page that says invite new team member. Next, you'll have to give us your new teammate's name and email address and also assign their role or level of access to Seon. You can also choose whether your new person is limited to only your sandbox environment or not. Remember, this is not final. Admins can change these settings anytime. Let's now focus on the team list. You can organize and view your teammates by their name, ID number, or role. Each teammate's entry into the team list also has their start date, access permissions, and security settings. Remember those settings that a moment ago I said admins could edit anytime? Well, just click on someone's name in this list and you are free to edit. The Role Groups tab is where you can view and alter the permissions of particular roles in your organization. Check marks indicate read and edit access. An I means read access, while a red X blocks a role from the selected function. Click the big green plus sign in the top right to add a new role. There may be different reasons that your team members would need differing access to Seon. Outside of the obvious fraud and risk teammates, it is sometimes useful for finance or management teams to see some parts of the data, but not all of it. You can manage who sees what. Thank you for watching. Remember, we cover many elements of Seon in The Knowledge. So take a look around at our other episodes. And if you want to read up on anything we talked about, head over to docs.seon.io.